Hey everybody, it's me again, and today I am doing my second eye look, which is inspired by Frosty the Snowman. And so what I'm going to be doing is taking this beautiful 34th Street, putting that all over my lid, and then I'm going to use Unicorn, which is this really pretty white. I'm going to be using this right here, our Illuminator Glamazing, and then I'm going to use this Junior Prom right here. I've never done this look before, um, so let's just get started and see how it turns out. So, first I'm going to take the 34th Street and put it all over my lid. It's such a pretty pink. It's going to be a very simple look as well. Um, nothing too fancy. You saw my previous videos. I had the darker, bold look done with the advent color, and all I did was just take a baby wipe and wipe those colors off and start with fresh eyes. I'm just going up. I'm not too concerned about fallout just because I am going to use the 34th, 34th Street to go underneath my eye with it as well as the really pretty unicorn. Okay, blow some of that off. Sorry, got out of camera. Now, what I'm going to do is take, and our illuminators are so, so, so pigmented. So, what I'm going to do is take the feather end, or the, I don't want to put, I can't, I can't even talk right now. Um, I want to take the blending end of the eyeshadow brush, and just grab some of the Glamazing and then go over the eye with it, which might need to use the smudge brush in. And there go my lovely dogs. What's a video without having your dogs barking? And like I said, this is the illuminator. And I am just going over the 34th Street with it. Kind of 
kind of keeping it to the middle to the outside of my eye. That is my pit Georgia that y'all hear barking in the background. And like I said, this right here is inspired by Frosty the Snowman. I'm just going to take some of that leftover glamazing and go up to my brow bone with it. So, we have that I done. It's just a really pretty shimmery um, color especially over the pink. Um, and I'm gonna do the same thing with the other eye. Go over. And I'm just kind of tapping and brushing across at the same time. Trying to be careful not to go into no further than the inner part of my lid. I want to try and leave that open. And this is just kind of, you know, a little festive look. Really sparkly. And I just went up into my brow bone with it, just like I did with my left eye. Y'all may hear my lovely husband fussing at the dogs, telling them to hush because he knows that I'm in here trying to do a video. It's like little kids. They know you're trying to do something and they want to act up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take the fluffy end and try and just blend this out just a little bit. And I'm just kind of going over, um, not really using any particular motion, um, some circles, some windshield wiper. And then what I'm going to do is take... <sighs> this really pretty unicorn and I'm going to put that on the inner corner of my eye. So I am going to take some of the milk lip conditioner and put that on the inner corner because it does help those colors um, stick just a little bit better. And like I said, I'm just going right on the inner lid y'all have seen me do this trick before if you've watched any of my videos and now i am going to wipe off the brush that I use for the glamazing and we're gonna use the unicorn on the inner lid and then I'm going to line my lids with the junior prom and the 34th Street so we're gonna have a contrast of the pink and the black and then I'm gonna put some lip and cheek color on I was waiting to do this look before I did that I'm just gonna go in Grab some of this unicorn and go 
go in the corner. And down some. And as y'all can see how white and pretty it is, it kind of blends in with that glamazing. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Kind of going from where the glamazing stopped to the inner of my eye. Kind of go down a little bit. Okay, and now we are ready for the junior prom. This is going to be tricky to do because I am so used to my other brush. I'm going to take some of the milk lip conditioner and just put it over because um, the junior prom is um, a shimmery black. And just tap it on just a little bit. just so we can get it to stick. And it looks like I lost some of the amazing. So I'm gonna put just a little bit more of that on there. Like I said, this is just a fun holiday look inspired by Frosty the Snowman. Hence the pink and the sparkles, the lighter colors, everything like that. And now I'm going to take this little brush that is very old that I've had. And we are going to see if I can line my lids with it. And let's see how I can get this by staying in camera, but still looking down. Ah. Sorry, y'all. So we're just gonna go this way. And I do have regular black eyeliner, but I wanted to use the black sparkle and see how that is. And I'm just trying to go with it. I hear my diamond barking at the TV. Alright, and then I'm going to do my other eye. And then we'll do the under eye. And then I'll add some mascara. And that will complete the look inspired by Frosty the Snowman. And there goes my Renesmee. And yes, she was named after Renesmee in Twilight. 
I got her when she was about three weeks old and bottle fed her. But she must hear something outside and has decided to go on a barking frenzy. So, we've got that, and I think I'm going to blend that out just a little bit, just kind of smudge it, just so it's not so prominent. And then we're going to do my under eye. And for that, I am just going to find my eyeshadow brush. Grab some of this 34th Street. Go underneath. just to kind of give it that little smudge look. I'm going to do the other eye. Well, I am doing the other eye. I'm telling y'all, for some reason, I really just cannot talk today. I don't know what is going on. And then, I am going to take some of this Junior Prom. And I'm not putting any Milk Lip Conditioner underneath my eye. Because I don't want it to be so prominent. And then... And I'm trying to keep it a little bit above the 34th Street. If y'all hear my husband hollering, I do apologize. To the other side. Trying to get more into the waterline with that. And still keep the 34th Street prominent. I may go back and add just a little bit more of her underneath. To actually, I need to buff this side. This side's much darker. And yeah, I definitely should have used my eyeliner for this. <laughs> but you know, you need you learn new things. 
I will know next time to definitely use my eyeliner for the under eye. And let's get that. Now what I'm going to do for the lip and cheek is just super simple. Um, I'm going to do Summer Love, um, which is, y'all have seen me use it before if you watch my videos. It is this pink right here. And all I'm going to do is just grab some on my finger and go right above my contour line. And then I have not forgot to do my mascara. And I'm just pushing that in. Like I said, it's just very pale pink. Grab some more. Put it on the other side. Staying above the contour line. And just kind of. Sorry, I started slouching in my chair. And then I'm going to take the Summer Love and I know I've got a brush that I can use for my lips. I just got to get the color off of it. Actually, no, I brought it in. My bad. I'm trying to dig through all my brushes here. Becoming a makeup artist, you just got, I've got to get myself organized. I've got stuff all over the place. And I'm just grabbing the Summer Love. And going over my lips with it. open so I can see. mascara and that will complete the look that is inspired by Frosty the Snowman. Y'all tell me what you think in the comments. I know I say that a lot, um, but I do look at the comments. Um, I look at any comments that anybody leaves. Um, I'm always checking everything out just because I am a brand new creator um, person to YouTube. So if anybody wants to reach out, give me any kind of tips, anything like that, that is also greatly appreciated as well. shortly and as I said before all I use is just the elf mascara um, the rest of my beauty products are saint um, 
and you can reach out to me if you are interested in any of those products, learning more about them. Um, I'll be more than happy to explain um, and answer any kind of questions that you do have. And got that eye done. So, what do y'all think? This is the I Look Inspired by Frosty the Snowman. Happy holidays. I'm going to show y'all a quick look with my eyes closed so y'all can see. And tell me what you think. Y'all have a happy holiday. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Bye, y'all.